Yo, it's the Given Area, and today we're going to be following on from my top five better reasons why Call of Duty World War 2 will be good, and we're going to be doing a top five reasons why Call of Duty World War 2 will be bad. So, in this one, we're going to be just going through the top five reasons why it could potentially fail and not be the best card like everyone's kind of making it out to be. So, right, the first thing for me, well, the fifth thing, will be the score streaks. Now, ever since Black Ops 2, the score streaks have been kind of getting worse and worse every single year. People have been complaining about how shit they are and that they want really good score streaks every year. And so far from what I've seen from Alpha gameplay is that there's really, the streaks are really quite bad. Like it's flamethrowers and just stuff like that that isn't going to get you loads of kills. Like obviously World War 2, it could potentially have like dogs but if you think about it historically there isn't really any weapons that could absolutely destroy kids like you've got black ops 2 that had potentially some of the best score streaks ever that game had your it had the canine unit but it also had the swarm it had the stealth chopper it had all of these the vita warship the other thing that shot loads of rockets down like all that shit they would not have had in world war 2 so for it to live up to expectations of having good score streaks, it's going to be pretty damn hard and stay historically correct. Like, I don't know if they're going to manage to do it, but I guess we'll figure it out when the game comes out. And maybe even in the beta, there'll probably be some new score streaks that we haven't seen yet. So what I'm thinking for a good score streak, hopefully as well, hopefully, praying to God there is a nuke. If there isn't a nuke, it could potentially be one of the worst games for sure. But um, yeah, hopefully there's like a massive warship thing that's like a... I think they're called zeppelins like massive hot air balloons and shit like that i feel like that'd be pretty cool loads of machine guns it's like the one in um black ops no not black ops what i'm saying battlefield one something like that if you've seen that but yeah going into the fourth reason that it'll be bad is that there's not a creator class like we've seen before in call of duty now this could potentially make it fail due to it just not being like call of duty it's like a completely different game it's gonna be more like your battlefield kind of game which isn't great as cod players are still playing cod because of how COD plays and how the mechanics are of like just everything within the game. So if you're changing the basic components of the game, it's not going to feel like Call of Duty anymore. And that's what I'm kind of scared about is that it's not going to feel like Call of Duty. Hopefully you can still put perks and attachments and all that good stuff. So it does feel like your normal Call of Duty game because I feel like they're just overcomplicating it every year with the specialists and in Infinite Warfare, you've got your mission teams and all that. I just think, keep it simple, man. Just have one character and you just do whatever the fuck you want with it, like in the old cards, like Black Ops 2 and all of them. But um, yeah, they're kind of overcomplicated it again. So you're going to have specific soldiers that have things that may come different. And it's just going to be, it's a weird one. It's going to... It's going to be like the new CODs, but a boots on the ground one. So we're going to have to see. We'll wait wait to see the creator class, how it works. It could be really good. It could be a really good change. But I don't know. Most people don't like change. So I'm kind of worried about that. So the third thing we're going to talk about is that there's going to be some pretty bad maps. But in my eyes, there could be some bad maps. So it could break the game. Not break the game, but stop it from being really good. Now, I've seen some gameplay on the alpha build of the game, which isn't going to be the same as the normal game, but the maps will be. The design of the maps won't change from now to the real game because it takes way too long to design the maps. So, my concern is that I was watching a big YouTuber the other day, I can't remember who it was, but they were playing on this map, it was like a beach. They ran to the other side of the map one minute. They were playing the game for one minute and their team was on one kill and the other team was on two kills. One whole minute and that is three kills. That is awful. That's a 300 score per minute for 12 people combined. So if you divide 3 by 12, that is a horrible score per minute. I'm used to it on Infinite Warfare dropping 600 average a game. So yeah, that's pretty damn bad. So we're going to have to see how how slow paced the maps play. I'm hoping they're nicely designed, free lane maps as we like to see on our boots and ground games. Not too complicated, just easily to control and not getting shot in the back a lot. Because that is what destroyed Ghost. Getting shot in the back was horrible. Because the maps were way too big and there was too many lanes. Also, one of my biggest concerns with the maps is I hope they don't have loads of layers. Now, if you don't know what I mean by layers, is um, if you look at a game like, let's go with COD 4. There are so many buildings and stories that you can look up to. And it's just really not good. I like being able to just look at a flat surface. Be able to see everyone's going to shoot me. Not looking up and down. Because obviously it's fine in a jetpack game because you can jump to get to the same level as them. But when you're looking up into buildings, you're looking down into holes, and it's just it's really not a fun experience. One of the main reasons I don't play Modern Warfare Remastered because it simply just makes the game boring. So right, let's move to the second thing that's going to make World War II a bad Call of Duty. 
So there's going to be a lot of campers. <laughs> now, obviously, as I said in the previous video, if you didn't see it, I'll leave a link in the description for you to go and watch it. Now, they, um, the maps, oh no, sorry. The people that are going to be playing this game could potentially be the people that left the community when jetpacks were added. So they would have gone over to Battlefield and shit, and then they'll be coming back. Those kind of people, I'm sorry to say, but they are the campers. They are the ones that can't use jetpacks because they like to sit in corners. And jetpacks don't, they don't help people that sit in corners. They make their lives a hell of a lot harder because it's so easy to kill campers on the new cards because you can just jump and jump shot them. Like, it's simple like that. That's why I love the jetpack games. There's no campers, really. So, World War II, there's going to be a lot of campers back, boys. So, just be prepared. Be checking your corners. That's all I'm going to say. Check your corners. Check your head glitches. And you're going to have to use the head glitches to your own advantages. Like, you're going to get shat on if you're just sprinting around like it's a jetpack game. I'm telling you now, boys. You heard, it, you heard it here first. So, just remember, subscribe to the channel for the best tips in World War II. Because I'm going to be giving them to you. Even if it is the camp, I'm going to give it to you. We, we're all about getting a high KD here. So, it's lit. Right, next thing we're going to be looking at. Um, so the first, the first thing that I think will make World War II a bad Call of Duty is the variants. Now, at the minute, variants are meant to be just cosmetic, so they make a difference to the how the gun looks visually. It doesn't do anything to the stats, how fast it kills, how it handles in the game. But if you remember Black Ops 3 when the beta was coming out. No, there's no variance. It's only going to be cosmetic stuff in supply drops. And look where Black Ops 3 is now. It's earned the most money out of every any COD that's ever existed because they added new weapons that you could only get in supply drops. So I can guarantee you they'll be adding new guns into World War 2 at some point. That will be pay to win. And it could... Obviously people are still going to play the game, but that's going to be the biggest thing to ruin Call of Duty World War 2 in my opinion. Um, but anyway, if you've got any things that you think will make Call of Duty World War 2 bad, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new for the latest Call of Duty news and some insane gameplays. And it's been the Gibbonator, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Might be the best lobby I've ever been in. Shit, man. Shit, man. Let's drop this double on retaliation. Come on, boys. Let's get some double height. Let's get this. Holy shit, boys. Uh, teammate just got a warden. Fuck me. Fuck me sideways. Yo, that kid's sway. That kid's sway. Yeah, we need to push up. I'm gonna play it smart. I'm gonna play it smart. Shit, shit, shit. No! Can I get rid of the chat, please, boys? We were five off. <laughs> Fucking prick on my team calling all the wardens in. It's like I had to rush my ass off. I wouldn't have challenged that. Ah! Oh. Sam, use your score. Ah, oh, bro, they're lit. They're lit. Let's get some hype, though. That was sick. I need a written chat, but. Still, 50 for two. <sighs> oh, I lit Nebjo. Bruh, I'm annoyed. Five off the double. Oh well, that was sick, that was sick. 